hey guys what's up and welcome back to the channel and in this video i will show you how to fix the legend of zelda breath of the wild from crashing in your simu emulator and how to fix simu from crashing for the legend of zelda breath of the wild after starting or on startup so let's get started as you can see i have simu 2.0 and if you have a stable version for simu emulator then you can fix it very easily so whenever I try to open my The Legend of Zelda on my CME emulator, I could file and load and you can see this is my game The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and I go to my code and RPX file and open. So my game will crash after I'm starting. You can see my CME is crashed. Now I try again and file, load file and I select RPX file. So my simu is crashing for the legend of Zelda Great of the Wild. So how we can fix this problem? So let's start. First of all, make sure you have already some files for your simu emulator. So close it and right click and open file location. This is my simu emulator folder, go to MLC folder and system and the title and over here you can see there is no folder we need a new folder from here right click and go to new and folder and type here 1005600 and press enter and open this folder now create a new folder over here Go to new and folder and type here contact and press enter now open this folder now we need some files to fix crashing problem so I have some files right click and extract to contact so open this folder and copy these all files from here and paste here it's very important thing guys do not skip this part of this video it's done we have uh, this folder and this folder now reopen your simi emulator and go to options and general settings and uh, go to mlc path click here and uh, go to your simi emulator folder so my simi is here on my desktop over here CMU 2.0 and select your MLC01 folder now close it now restart your CMU emulator now go to options again and general settings and select your game path now I select again I remove my old uh, old folder and add and I select again this one Close it and close it. Now reopen your CMA emulator and options and your settings and already selected my game directory but my game is not joined. It means your game has some issues. Now go to your game folder. This is my game folder you can see. Maybe your game folder is corrupted then delete your old game folder from here like this and extract your old game files right click and extract you and wait for some time and make sure your game folder and game file is not corrupted now guys you can see i have new error while extracting my this game my game folder is corrupted while extracting with vendor so i delete again my this folder and i try again with 7 zipper and make sure you have enough space in your uh, local disk E or C for your game. Now I try again with 7 zipper like this. Extract to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and wait for some time over here. Now guys you can see I have uh, no issue this time with my game uh, while extracting my game file you can see. So this is my original game folder 
and make sure you have three folders of your game core content and meta if you don't have meta folder of your game then you cannot fix the issue for your uh, game on on cme emulator now go back and select your uh, game directory on your cme emulator now i close it and i reopen my cme emulator and go to options and general settings and I remove my old main game directory, remove and add. This is my game folder. I select it, and as you can see, my game is shown on my Sim Emulator page. So, this is the issue for your game if you are uh, facing crashing problem of uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on Sim Emulator. So, I hope uh, uh, this tutorial uh, will help you. Uh, so now uh, for more settings if you are still facing the issue a uh, crashing problem for Breath of the Wild on CPU then close your uh, uh, CME emulator uh, but first uh, do not skip any part of this video uh, I show you I, I try to play uh, my game at this time my game uh, will not crash uh, this code and RTX so game is uh, uh, successfully working you can see so I have another solution if you still facing the issue for your game in, on CME emulator so you can see close it first and I will open and but uh, go to your CME emulator folder and delete uh, your settings XML documents file if you still facing uh, the issue for your game on CPU. After deleting this file, if your game data is lost, then you can recover your game data from your CME emulator. Uh, go to your CME emulator, uh, your original file, extract it with Vendor first. So this is my new CME emulator folder and open it and uh, open it next close it now close it and uh, uh, copy your old MLC folder from your old sim emulator folder copy and paste here and replace the file in the destination now close your old folder from your, for your sim emulator and use new folder for CME emulator reopen it and go to options again general settings and select your ML path and go to your uh, CME emulator folder so this is my newest version and select your MLC01 folder and select your game path now you can play your game without the issue on your cme emulator and if you're still facing the issue then go to options and go to general settings again and go to graphics and select from here to vulcan some games workable with vulcan and some games workable with opengl so you can try both options from here but i recommend vulcan and uh, to select your GPU device. If you have multiple GPU devices, then select powerful GPU device from here. And select async share to compile. And if you want to use Vulkan with your GPU device, then make sure you have latest version drivers for your GPU. Go to search bar on your Windows and go to device manager. Go to device manager control panel and go to display adapter click here and right click and properties and go to drivers and you can see driver date and driver version if you are using older version drivers for your gpu then please update it first because older version drivers does not support latest version cme emulator it's very important thing guys and it's done close it after these settings you can fix the issue for your game on cme emulator so i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you guys if you like it then please subscribe my channel and like my this video thanks for watching guys bye bye see you in the next video